Hey, welcome back. This is Mr. Hassan's Mass Channel, and this video is being made upon the request of one of the viewers who asked me to answer some of these questions from this exercise 6D of the P3 textbook, the International A level textbook from Edexcel. And this uh, is chapter 6.4, the product rule. So um, the viewer wanted me to um, answer some of these questions. I'm going to do the first question of um, the first part of question number one and hopefully by seeing how I've done this the viewer should understand how to do the other questions all right so that's what I'm going to do first Just answer one of these questions and then hopefully they'll understand what to do and then we will um, uh, wait for their reply and see if they actually understood how to do the other questions from this now in this question here we have um, a product of two separate functions so we have to differentiate this so let's first let's call it y equals so y equals x times 1 plus 3x to the power 5 okay so I'll, I'll just call that y so that when I write now dy dx we're now we're going to differentiate this we're going to find what dy dx is but because we have a product of two functions it's not like a function inside a function okay we have a function inside a function here 1 plus 3x to the power 5 and that alone, we can use the chain rule to differentiate. But because it's multiplied by this x outside it, it is like a, a product of two separate functions. So we have to use the product rule. What we cannot do is we cannot just differentiate the x and differentiate the 1 plus 3x to the power 5 separately and multiply them. No, we have to use what's called the product rule. Now, when we are um, using the product rule, one of the products, we call it u. So we're going to call x u. And the other one, we call it v. So I'm going to call 1 plus 3x to the power 5. That's our v. Okay, so dy dx is going to be basically um, what we have to do next, by the way, differentiate this. So you, if you differentiate it with respect to x, you're going to get 1. If you differentiate x with respect to x, you get 1. And you differentiate what v is with respect to x. Now, here we have to use the chain rule to differentiate this because you have a function inside another function. You have something raised to the power of 5. But inside it, you have the function 1 plus 3x. So you start off by differentiating in the normal way where you multiply by the power. In this case, you multiply by the power and take 1 from the power. So it's 5 times 1 plus 3x to the power of 4. So you multiplied by the power and took 1 from the power. But then you have to multiply by the differential of what's inside the function. Now, inside the function is 1 plus 3x. If you differentiate 1, you get 0. If you differentiate 3x, you get 3. So the differential of 1 plus 3x is 3. So I've got to multiply this by 3. So I end up with my differential being 15 times 1 plus 3x to the power 4. That's the differential of this bracket 1 plus 3x to the power 5 using the chain rule. Okay, now when we differentiate, um, most people will say u u times v dash plus v times u dash and that's fine i like to do it the other way around i like to do this first i like to do v times u dash plus u times v dash the reason i like to do it in this order is because for the quotient rule where you have to subtract and divide by v squared you need to use that order because subtraction of the order matters addition it doesn't matter so i like to just you know keep it the same for both that's what i like to do so I, I i like to do this first and this second it doesn't make any difference whichever you do it that's absolutely fine now v u dash so that's one times one plus three x to the power five okay so that's multiplying these two together and then i have x times plus x times 15 times one plus three x to the power of four that gives me 15 x there Okay, so I have here uh, 1 plus 3x to the power 5 plus 15x, 1 plus 3x to the power 4. Now, that is the differential of this. That's the answer. However, in most cases, or in some cases, they might expect you to write this as a single term, not two separate terms. Okay, as like, uh, yeah, you could say a factorized term. Okay, so... When you see the answer to this question, it doesn't look like this at all, all right? And the reason being is that they have factorized this. They have taken out the common factor and written, written in factorized form. So that's what I'm going to show you how to do. Some of you might have got here and thought that you got the wrong answer because the answer at the back doesn't look like this at all. But in fact, up to this stage, everything's correct, okay? And technically, that could be your answer um, for, for this question. 
Um, but if they ask you to, to factorize it or they say show that this gives you something in a particular form, like they might say, you know, AX times B plus C X to the power of five or to the power of P or something like that, they might give you in this in this form. So, so you know how you, you must know how to manipulate this so you end up with something in the form that's required. So what we're going to do is we're going to look to see what the common factor is between these two terms. Now, in terms of the numbers, there's no common factor. In terms of these letters here, there's no common factor. But in terms of the bracket, there's a common bracket, which is 1 plus 3x. So we see that bracket is common in both of these terms. That's a common factor in both terms, 1 plus 3x. Okay. However, they're raised to different powers. So the highest common factor is always the one raised to the lower power. Okay, the highest common factor is always the one raised to the lower power. Because if you were to write this out, you'd have 1 plus 3x times itself 5 times. 1 plus 3x times itself 4, 4 times. So what's common is 1 plus 3x multiplied by itself 4 times. So the common factor here is 1 plus 3x to the power of 4. Now, that's my common factor. I've taken that out as common. Now, what's left here is 1 plus 3x to the power of 5 inside. So what do I have to multiply this by to give me this term? Well, just 1 plus 3x. This times this is going to give me that. I'll just write it in a bracket to be, make it clear. That's going to give me that exactly. And then what do I have to multiply 1 plus 2x to the power 4 by to give me 15x times 1 plus 2x to the power 4? Well, just 15x. So I've got 15x there. And we're almost finished now. Okay, we can just simplify this. We can now um, look here. We have 1 plus 3x plus 15x. So we end up with 1 plus 3x to the power 4 times 1 plus 18x and there is our answer now the answer in the book probably it probably says 18x plus 1 okay uh, but there's no difference between 1 plus 18x and 18x plus 1 the reason is they would probably have this term over there they'd have this over there and that over here because they normally do uv dash plus vu dash i like to do it the other way around there's absolutely no difference the answer in the end exactly the same Okay, so there we have the answer to part A. So the important thing to realize here is we have to use this method for differentiating. We have to use the product rule, okay, which is you take the, you, you work out what the two uh, products are. You have one product and then the other, okay, and you differentiate each of them separately, taking care that you might need to use a chain rule to differentiate one of them, like we have here, and then you multiply one of them by the differential of the other and vice versa and add them together. And then your answer, in most cases, you might need to factorize it uh, in order to give you the answer that's given in the form in the back of the book. So that completes this question, question number 1A. Um, if there are other questions from this exercise that you still need help with, then I will answer them on some separate videos. Okay, hopefully that will help you to answer the other questions on in this exercise by yourself. And um, if you just follow the same steps, hopefully that will be Okay, so um, other questions from this particular um, chapter of the P3 book, the, uh, the chapter chapter 6 on differentiation will be found in the playlist that will appear over here. Other questions from P3 integrate, uh, differentiation, sorry, in general will be found in this playlist over here. You can subscribe to my channel by clicking on this link and you can watch the video that will appear on the top here, uh, which will show you how to navigate through my channel in an efficient way. Thank you for watching and see you soon.